The debate over how to fix supply and environmental problems of the Sacramento-San Joaquin River Delta has been going on for decades. The Delta provides up to a third of Southern California's water supply. Here with more details about the issue is my guest, Barry Nelson, with the Water Program for Natural Resources Defense Council. Barry, thanks for joining us. Now, California's water delivery system has undergone various legal and legislative battles for years. Why is it important to do something right now? Really two reasons. Uh, first, water is the lifeblood of California's economy. We, our, our, our farms and our cities need reliable water supplies. Uh, but there's another reason, and that is that Delta right now has a particular set of problems that really have reached a crisis point. On the one hand, its ecosystem has completely fallen apart uh, to the point where it's costing salmon fishermen their jobs. The ecosystem is in dire trouble. Uh, and the levee structure itself, the levees that protect this thousand mile maze of, uh, of islands is in danger of collapsing if we don't do something to manage that system. So it really is urgent that we find a solution to the Delta now. Governor Brown, Jerry Brown proposed a $14 billion plan uh, to build a couple of massive tunnels. Uh, let's listen to what he has to say from his state of state of address last month about this issue. My proposed plan is two tunnels, 30 miles long and 40 feet wide, designed to improve the ecology of the Delta with almost 100 square miles of habitat restoration. Okay, so it seems like the ultimate goal here is the same. Reliable water supply, restore the e right. ecology of the Delta. So what do you think is wrong with the governor's plan? Well, the, the, the fundamental concern is that's an enormously expensive facility, $14 billion just for those two twin tunnels. And we don't know exactly how much water those tunnels would take. So from an environmental perspective, we don't know what environmental impact they would have. And from a water user perspective... As if they could be taking too much water. It could take too much water. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the flip side of that coin is water users don't know what they get for their investment. If they pay for that $14 billion facility, how much water will they get from that? We don't have answers to that right and now. And that's, you're talking about like San Diego County Water Authority, exactly local right. water authorities. Right. Okay. That, that Bay Delta is source of about well, a quarter to a third of Southern California water supply. It's an important supply. And we're showing it. It's, a, it's just a massive uh, undertaking as it is right now as far as the Delta goes and getting water from up north down here to Southern California. What is your plan, your alternative plan right. as it's being called? Well, it, it, it's pretty simple. Um, um, what we propose that we look at, it's really a concept. We're seeing whether a different approach is promising. We focused rather than, rather than on a big Delta uh, a big facility on a smaller facility, which saves billions of dollars that we can then spend elsewhere. So some we could spend on levy improvements to try to prevent levy uh, failure, but most of that money would be spent in places like San Diego and things like water recycling, water conservation, things that the San Diego County Water Authority is already planning to do. And we think that portfolio, that broader approach, might produce more water for water users at less cost with better, better environmental results. So specifically, instead of two large tunnels, one tunnel, Right. Do you think that would supply enough water? We actually think that by the, re remember that, that there are two sources of supply here. One is the amount of water we pump from the Delta. We pump a little bit less. We don't know how much less until the state does the analysis. We'd probably pump a little bit less than that big facility. But if we invest the savings from that small facility in local recycling and efficiency, we'll get a lot of water that is not vulnerable to climate change or failures in Delta levees or dry years. Um, so we think the, the, the supply from those two sources would be more through a portfolio approach. Uh, what are the next steps here? How long do you think before uh, there's going to be a decision made? Well, the reason we came out with this proposal now is that right now the state is right in the middle of doing its final analysis to try to develop their plan. Um, we expect that draft plan in four months, five months. Uh, so this really is the critical time for the state to take this proposal up and analyze it side by side with the proposal for that big tunnel, uh, the big tunnels, and see which approach performs better. All right, Barry Nelson, thanks so much for talking with us about this. Thanks for having me, Peggy.